Welcome, you powerful human being. You are here because you know that there is a shift you are ready to make to feel more deeply confident in yourself. Secure in your individuality. And honestly, in love with yourself. So take a deep breath in and let a full exhale out. Begin to guide your focus inwards. Using your breath to let go of what you were just doing and arrive here. Consciously, let go of any tension in your body. Release your muscles. Let softness flow through your joints. Before we go any further, mentally give yourself permission to feel safe here. Kindly and lovingly wrap your arms around yourself in a soft, comforting hug. Allow yourself to receive this support and to drink it in. Let yourself feel the same amount of support as if it was your beloved hugging you. Do not block any feelings of comfort just because it is you holding yourself. This is the most intimate relationship you can ever experience. You and yourself. This if you let it, can actually increase the value of the compassion and sweetness you offer yourself. You understand yourself instantaneously as you have been through everything with yourself. In this hug, give yourself credit for getting to where you are today. You have grown in ways you never would have thought possible. Yes, yes you have. Take a deep breath. And when you are ready, gently let go of your embrace. Consciously allow your body to relax. As a child, one of the first steps in romantic exploration was figuring out the answer to the question, do they like me? This was the base question that we used as a reference point to understand if things could move forwards, if it was actually safe for us to let our guard down and enjoy So, generally, this was the question we checked in with 
to see if things were going well in any friendship or social interaction. When we are constantly doubting our value in a relationship, even if your beloved has constantly told you how attractive you are to them, and even demonstrated it with their actions. The insecurity from needing reassurance comes from what question we are using to evaluate the state of our relationship. The way our mind works is we are constantly evaluating But what is our reference point? How do we determine our evaluation? Often it is subtle and even unconscious. If the focus to see if your relationship is on the right track is based on, do they love me? Do they find me worthy and fulfilling? And does this person make me happy? Then it naturally becomes filled with constant ups and downs based on every micro expression of your partner. How would the way you perceive your relationship change if you used this question as your reference point? to decipher the state of your relationship. Are we growing towards joy? If your main focus and value becomes centered around this question, notice how questions of insecurity naturally fade away from your focus. If your goal is upon growing towards more joy, then the focus is no longer on evaluating the level at which your partner finds you attractive. Things that used to seem like possible deal breakers may not matter quite as much because you know what your focus is. If your focus is on creating yourself as valuable, then the fear that you aren't is there. But if your focus is on growing towards joy and cultivating that, then you remove your self-worth from being attached to your relationship. This makes your self-worth a foundation and irrelevant to the status of you and your partner's relationship. One day, you will die. This is a fact. If you are choosing to grow towards joy, and towards fully experiencing the beauty in life, then you will be more satisfied with your life choices and experiences than if you focused on making sure a person likes you. Ask yourself, what do you value most? If you are cultivating joy, are cultivating an external sense of approval. Breathe into your body. Coming back to this present moment and the environment you are in.
knowing that you have integrated everything that you need to. And when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs>